Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel Sports Eye Box and welcome to the brand new episode and the last episode of the Genius Graph series. In today's video, we gonna see about how to connect to a Genius Graph using Python driver. So come, let's go to the video. <laughs> So today, uh, like uh, we are going to see about how to connect to uh, Genius Graph using Python. Uh, this video is going to be a short video because most of them, like we have covered uh, uh, in last uh, episode, like uh, connecting to the Gremlin console and executing the query, different types of query with the example of graph on bus. So um, the same thing you can uh, able to achieve using. Uh, uh, Python. So not only Python. So if you could see here, um, I have opened the like Genesis Graph uh, like uh, official documentation. So here you could uh, what they have listed is like currently could able to connect uh, uh, to Genesis Graph and query using these three languages, Java, Python, and .NET. Uh, so uh, upon these three languages, uh, Genesis Graph supports mostly uh, for the Java. Uh, so uh, uh, the package and uh, all development uh, related to Genesis Graph uh, is like they're concentrating more on the Java because uh, Genesis Graph is uh, the backend is being supported mostly by the Cassandra and Cassandra has been written by uh, Gen, uh, Java language. So the driver uh, are uh, rich in Java when compared to Python. But today we are going to see about Python. So it, it is a similar uh, uh, way of uh, connecting bo both in Java and Python. So uh, let's see how uh, they have started connecting uh, using Python. Let's start exploring this. So uh, first to make sure uh, Python has been installed in your system. So let me give Python here. So uh, I, I have uh, like a 3.8.3 uh, version. So, so Python has been installed. Now let us uh, install this Gremlin version. So pip install and gremlin uh, equal to equal to the 3.4.6 uh, like uh, shows uh, what version uh, uh, you want to install the gremlin python driver so gremlin python is nothing but the driver so if you see here it has been uh, like uh, installed uh, uh, successfully now let uh, start write the code so either you can write a code uh, uh, using the editor or you could uh, uh, either using a uh, uh, shell. So uh, in today's video, I will show you how to write the code using an editor. So whatever the editor that I am using currently uh, is uh, uh, like a VS Code uh, Studio. So uh, it it will be uh, more user friendly in helping in uh, uh, debugging the Python code as well as the linting. All these uh, additional features will be rich in uh, VS Code Studio. So I prefer to write using VS Code. So if you see here uh, so let me create a new file called uh, connect to genesgraph.py so i have created a like a fresh and empty uh, python file let us start importing the necessary so here i have like imported the required uh, of, uh, like uh, import headers uh, from the drivers that we have uh, installed. So uh, let's start writing a, a simple code by connecting to Genesis Graph. So let's start initializing it. And let initialize the connection. Then let us initialize the graph browser. Let us start printing everything. Graph instances. Graph and connections. So now if we execute it, we will get an error because we didn't start a genus graph in our local. So let us start that. So if you see here, I am in the present working directory. So this is our usual um, our way to start the gremlin console, bin slash gremlin dot as such. 
so uh, I have filed this query so this is the usual way of starting the gremlin control so once it started let us uh, start uh, executing the python code that we have created so it's getting started so let's wait gremlin to get started so if you see here what I have uh, like written is like I have just created a object for the class graph and I have initiated the connection to the local gremlin console that I have started now and I have uh, like initiated the traversal operation for this graph object then I am printing all these object instance to make sure it's been like, uh, like created or not so uh, it's getting started okay now it's been started so let's run python so let us check the python version here also okay so to execute uh, python i can give the keyword python and give python so if you see here graph instance is created and the connections the remote connection like on the traversal instances a traversal object has been created so these three have been successfully created now let us try to uh, execute uh, one um, uh, uh, gremlin query to make sure that it's been uh, executing correctly or not so i have already did some trial run so uh, as i said in the grim like um, the graph of god so saturn so uh, we have started explaining from the saturn so from the saturn because saturn is like a grand uh, father for hercules so that's how the flow goes in the graph of course so but if you see um, uh, here uh, they have started with an hercules but let us begin with the saturn itself so, so let me print this saturn exists So Saturn has been existed. So I got a Saturn object has been created. So this way you can try executing uh, different uh, Gremlin uh, queries uh, using the uh, Python. So uh, so this is how uh, you should connect using Python and uh, you should start executing the Gremlin queries. The so same way you can also try with uh, Java or .NET, however whichever is uh, like flexible to you. So guys, this is the last episode of Gremlin's Graph. Hope uh, you uh, watched all the episodes of Gremlin's Graph. If not, please uh, do watch it and uh, leave a query in the comment section uh, if you guys have any. So please like the video, share the video and subscribe to our channel. I will be uh, doing some uh, more interesting topics in the techno videos. So uh, stay tuned. Bye.